Hey everybody! Today we're going to read The Stinky Giant. And I want you to really pay attention again today and go retell this story to somebody in your family or one of your stuffed animals or a pet. So really listen to the details of the story so you could go let whoever you want to know, family or a stuffed animal, what happened in our book today. Today's book is The Stinky Giant and it is by Ellen Weiss and Mel Friedman. And the pictures are illustrated by Alessia Girasol. A long time ago, a brother and a sister lived in a beautiful valley. The sister's name was Pepper. The brother's name was Jake. They had a happy life. Every day they sang songs and watched their sheep. They only had one problem. The problem's name was Irk. Irk was a huge, mean giant. He was rude, he was ugly, and when Irk burped, it sounded like thunder. And when he sneezed, houses blew away. Irk lived in a castle. It was way, way, way up on top of the mountain. Every Thursday, Irk washed his clothes. Irk's clothes were very big, and Irk's wash tub was very big, too. When he was done washing his clothes, Irk emptied his wash tub. The water came roaring down the mountain, and it made a huge flood. Sometimes things were swept away. Sometimes some of Pepper and Jack's sheep were lost. So Pepper and Jake had to walk way down the valley to get their sheep back. Pepper and Jake were tired of Irk and Irk's laundry. One day, Jake fell into a big puddle of Irk's dirty wash water. He came out all stinky. That's it. We are going to talk to Irk, said Jake. They looked up at Irk's castle. It would be hard to get there, but they knew they had to go. So they made some egg and salty pickle sandwiches. They filled a goatskin bag with water and they set out to climb Irk's mountain. They climbed up, up, up. The higher they went, the colder it got. Their teeth chattered, their sweat froze. After a while, they got hungry. They stopped to eat their sandwiches. Their lunch made them thirsty, but the water in the goat skin was frozen solid. Finally, they arrived at the castle. They banged hard on the door. The door swung open. There, sitting at his table, was Irk. He was having a gigantic bowl of smelly soup. Well, said the giant, what do you want? We want you to stop flooding us with your dirty wash water, said Pepper. The giant's laughter boomed across the room. But Jake and Pepper scowled at him so he would know how serious they were. And Irk just kept laughing. Okay, Irk finally said, I have an idea. We giants have a secret riddle. No one has ever been able to answer it. If you can't answer the riddle, I will boil you for soup and I will throw your sheep in too. If you can answer it, I lose. I will move away. Do you think they're going to be able to answer the riddle? I don't know. Where will you move to, asked Pepper. You can pick because I won't lose, said Irk. Jake pointed to the map. Here, he said. They shook on it. Irk gave them the riddle. There is something you see every day, and it is one thing, but also three things. I will give you three days to come up with the answer, shouted the giant. Now go home. So let's all think. The riddle is, there is something you see every day, and it is one thing, but also three things. Maybe pause the video and think about what you think it might be.
Pepper and Jake went down, down, down to the mountain. Look, said Pepper, the ice in the bag has turned back to water. Jake was so thirsty he drank half of the water. When they finally got home, they started thinking about the riddle. What could be one thing but three things? They only had three days or they would be Jake and Pepper and sheep soup. What about a fish, Pepper said. First it's an egg, then it's a fish. And that's all, said Jake. Hmm, two things. On the second day, Jake had an idea. Peanut butter, he said. It's crunchy or it's creamy. And that's all, said Pepper. It's crunchy and creamy, two things or three things? Two. Then she said, what about a book? It's open or it's closed. Hmm, but that was also only two things. After that, they were so tired they had to go to sleep, but they went to bed scared. If they didn't come up with an answer tomorrow, they would be soup. On the third morning, Jake and Pepper were really worried. Today, they had to go back to Irk and they still had no answer. Let's have some dandelion tea, said Pepper. It will help us think. So Jake put water in the kettle and put the kettle on boil. Pepper decided she would have some iced tea. Soon the water was boiling. The kettle whistled, the steam came jetting out of the spout. Jake and Pepper looked at the steam. They looked at Pepper's ice. Then they looked at each other. Water, they said together. We know this from science. What are different ways water can, what different uh, forms water can take? Solid, liquid, and gas. That is three things. Water, like the stuff they used to make the tea. Water, like the ice in Pepper's glass. And water, like the steam coming out of the kettle. Do you think it's the answer to the riddle? They raced back up the mountain. They didn't even care that the water in their goatskin bag was turning to ice. They didn't even care about Irk's steamy, stinky wash water. They had won. We figured it out, said Pepper. It's water, said Jake. Steam, ice, and liquid, but all water. Eric turned red. Then he turned purple. No, he shouted. You couldn't have figured that out. Nobody figures it out. But they had, and a deal was a deal. Eric would have to move to the horrible land of Hui, and he would have to wash his clothes in the great smelly swamp. Eric hated it, but a deal was a deal. He left the very next day for the horrible land of Hui, but he left his dirty socks behind. Did they get the riddle? They did. Water, three different ways. It's a solid, a liquid, and a gas. The solid is ice, liquid is when it's water, and the gas is when it's steam. Awesome. Have a great day.